What does a cat in a box have to do with superposition in relation to quantum theory? And can this cat be both simultaneously dead and alive? Welcome to the thought experiment known as Schrodinger's cat. This thought experiment was devised by physicist Erwin Schrodinger in 1935 in a discussion with Albert Einstein to illustrate what Schrodinger saw as the problems of the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. To understand Schrodinger's cat, we must first understand some key principles of quantum physics. One, we have wave-particle duality. This principle dates back to the earliest days of quantum science. It describes the outcomes of experiments that showed that light and matter had the properties of particles or waves, depending on how they were measured. D today, we understand that these different forms of energy are actually neither particle nor wave. They are distinct quantum objects that we cannot easily conceptualize. Two, superposition. This is a term used to describe an object as a combination of multiple possible states at the same time. Three, the uncertainty principle. This is a mathematical concept that represents a trade-off between complementary points of view. In physics, this means that two properties of an object, such as its position and velocity, cannot both be precisely known at the same time. If we precisely measure the position of an electron, for example, we will be limited in how precisely we can know its speed. Four, entanglement. This is a phenomenon that occurs when two or more objects are connected in such a way that they can be thought of as a single system, even if they are far apart. The state of one object in that system can't be fully described without information on the state of the other object. Likewise, learning information about one object automatically tells you something about the other and vice versa. And five, the Copenhagen interpretation. An observation of a conscious entity is required for something to be certain, but otherwise it is in a superposition of states. We should also talk about quantum indeterminacy. This is a quantum wave function that portrays all physical quantities as a series of quantum states along with the probability of a system being in a given state. Consider a single radioactive atom with a half-life of one hour. According to the quantum physics wave function, after one hour the radioactive atom will be in a state where it is both decayed and not decayed. Once a measurement of the atom is made, the wave function will collapse into one state, but until then it will remain as a superposition of the two quantum states. This is a key aspect of the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum physics. It's not just that the scientist doesn't know which state it's in, but it's rather that the physical reality is not determined until the act of measurement takes place. In some unknown way, the very act of observation is what solidifies the situation into one state or another. Until that observation takes place, the physical reality is split between all possibilities. Now, to recap. When dealing with subatomic particles on a microscopic scale, exact measurements are impossible, and probability of all states it could possibly be are required. Seeing as the macroscopic world is made of the quantum entanglement of these particles, it was theorized that it would work the same way. Essentially, this means something is uncertain and is in a state of superposition until observed by a conscious entity. An example, a human or an animal. This appears to make no sense. Surely absolutes exist, even if no one is there to see them. Nearly anyone's intuition would tell them so. And this is where the cat comes in. Schrodinger proposed this thought experiment to display the absurdity of all this that we've considered about quantum theory. The experiment goes like this. A cat is placed in a box, along with a Giger counter. There's a small radioactive substance that would possibly decay in the course of an hour, but has an equal possibility of not decaying. A 50-50. If the particle decayed, then an acid is released that kills the cat. If not, nothing happens and the cat remains alive. Now, according to the Copenhagen interpretation and the acceptance of superposition on a macroscopic scale, this would mean that the cat is in all states it could possibly be until the box is opened. This means that after an hour, the cat would simultaneously be both dead and alive. Obviously, this is absurd. Something has to be either alive or dead, regardless of the observation of a conscious being. And this is what Schrodinger is trying to show that something is missing from our perception of reality, especially when it comes to quantum physics. Different theories have spawned from this, which tilt more towards the sides of science fiction. One such theory is the multiple timelines theory, which suggests that this action of the cat in the box would create two timelines, one where the cat lives and one where the cat dies. 
The one we observe is the timeline that we are in. Another is the many worlds theory, which has been popularized as the multiverse in mainstream media. This suggests that every possibility of everything exists all at once, meaning an infinite amount of universes exist where every situation plays out. This is an intriguing thought experiment, especially due to the fact that it deals with quantum mechanics and the nature of our reality itself. But ultimately, it was meant to call out the basically the areas we don't understand in quantum physics and how our current understanding of them pretty much does not make sense in our reality as a whole. So if you learned something or enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment on your thoughts on all this, and until next time, it's been Playmaster.